Hi, I'm Rick Shirk with the Noble County Economic Development Corporation, and I'm here with another segment of no Noble County on the Grow. We're with David Hemming of Precision Tank and Equipment in Legonier, Indiana. David, could you tell us a little bit about your organization and what brought you to Noble County? Sure. Um, we're an agricultural tank company based in Illinois, and we were looking for a new facility, a place to build a building in Indiana. We wanted to locate in the general Elkhart County area. However, with Rick's good health and Patty Feisel, the mayor of Ligonier, we were able to locate this site and get some grants and get some tax incentives and land at a reasonable price. So we at Precision Tank are very happy to be here in Ligonier. Uh, we have two sides to this facility. We have a fiberglass tank side and a stainless steel tank side, which we're in right now. And uh, the stainless steel tanks we make for ag chemicals and fertilizers range from about 1,600 gallons to 10,000 gallons. Bread and butter size is about 3,000 gallons. We have a crew on this side of four people with various machinery and whatnot that you can see. And that supplements our business back in Illinois. So let's take a minute and go across the way to our fiberglass side. We're now on the fiberglass side of our operation. And these tanks we make, you can see, are pretty large. They're 12 feet in diameter and usually 36 feet tall. They own 36,000 gallons, and these are fiberglass tanks. The heart and soul of our operation here is our fiberglass tank winder. It's a steel mandrel that's 12 feet in diameter, and you can see that that mandrel is rotated. Uh, it's a four-step process. We start with what we call a chemical veil. It's about 20 thousandths of an inch thick. The next is a chopped operation which a lot of fiberglass operations use in the area, standard shop. The third which makes us unique is a helical line. If you look up there you can see it's a crisscross or a helical fashion. That's the strongest kind of tank that you can make and that's the latest CNC technology. So we elected to go with the latest technology. The last coat is the white gel coat which you see on the outside and that's to protect the tanks from UV rays out in the sun. These tanks are vertical in fashion when they're at a fertilizer dealer and uh, we use them to store fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, 28% uh, nitrogen or 32% that kind of thing, starter fertilizer. So again, this is, this is what we do here at Ligonier and uh, it's the latest technology and it's, it's a very CNC oriented machine. Now these tanks are replacing older metal tanks? Or? Yes, we've been in a steel and stainless steel business for about, since 1965, so 45 plus years. And mild steel tanks, we make the same size back in Illinois. And because of impurities, uh, coming in, if you get anything sulfuric in a steel tank, steel doesn't like that. So our customers weren't liking the longevity of steel tanks, so we decided to make fiberglass, and fiberglass lasts longer, and our customers like, of course, a tank that lasts much longer. So that's really why we are in the fiberglass tank business. We're here where we chop our top and bottom. And this is the bottom, you can see it's a flat bottom, the full 12 feet diameter. And we'll see a, a completed top and bottom here in just a moment. Over there is our top mold, you can see it's a dome shape, and that is for the structural part of the tank. And the flat bottom, of course, which is set on a concrete pad. So that's what we do in this area. This angle ring is just to help save material to eliminate less styrene being in the air and less waste, okay? But uh, these are made out of 3 8 inch steel and will last a long, long time. And we, we elected to use steel top and bottom molds rather than fiberglass because it's long together. We're here with Fred Ratcliffe and he is the guy that dresses up our tops and bottoms. And this is one of the uh, bottom looks like after it's been chopped and the gel coat which is white on the top. 
then thread the door around and get off this, this plane to that angle ring first that we saw over there and grind this so it's nice and smooth all the way around so we can attach that bottom, in this case, to our tank in a nice fashion with the wine. This has a full-time ventilation system in here to keep the dust down and uh, Fred's been doing this a long time and a great job. Okay, this is our rack for our tops and bottoms after Fred has ground them smooth. You can see there's a nice smooth finish all the way around. You can also see the tops again which have the dome shape and the bottoms over here which have a flat shape. Uh, they're about a half an inch thick and at the knuckle we call it around the edge it's almost an eight, three quarters of an inch thick there. So this is just where we store them before we put them on the final tank. We are here at Precision Tank at Ligonier, Indiana, outside for our outside tank storage area. You can see that we have about 15 tanks, fiberglass tanks, behind Rick and I. And uh, we're here today in May of 2011 to celebrate selling and manufacturing our first 100 fiberglass tanks. Our original projection was 50 for our first year, and we've actually doubled that to 100, so we thought we'd take a moment to celebrate and thank our employees for all their good work and our, our successful first year here at Lincoln. David, I want to thank you for um, taking time to share with us today, and most importantly, I want to thank you and Precision Tank for helping Noble County grow. Thank you, Rick. Appreciate thank all you. your help.